When you work with multi-agent frameworks like Autogen, TaskWeaver or Crew AI, you sometimes need to work with multiple LLMs locally on your machine. Especially when tasks are running sequentially by the agents in Autogen or Crew AI, we can use Olama to switch between the LLMs so that different agents can use different LLMs. Olama is available on Mac OS and Linux, but the Windows version is not ready yet. So to be able to run Olama on Windows, we need to turn on the Windows Subsystem for Linux feature or VSL and then download Olama for Linux. So let's dive in to see how we can install Olama on Windows. First, we search for Turn Windows to find Turn Windows feature on or off in Control Panel and open it. We scroll down and activate Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Subsystem for Linux and click OK. Windows applies the changes and needs to restart. After restarting, we navigate to Microsoft support pages to see a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Linux on Windows with VSL. To do this, we open the terminal as administrator and give the command vsl install d and the distribution, in this case Ubuntu. This will take some while and then we can enter a username and password for the Linux user account. After VSL version 1 is installed, we get a message that a newer version is available and we can update VSL using the command vsl-update. Olama does not work on VSL 1, so we need to update. The update process takes some while. And after VSL is updated to version 2, we need to set the default version of VSL to version 2 by typing vsl dash dash set dash default dash version to 2. Additionally, we use the command vsl dash dash set dash version ubuntu to 2. After the conversion is done, we are ready to install Olama on our windows as if we have a Linux machine. We navigate to olama.ai and then to download page and click on the Linux version to see the command needed to install Olama on Linux and copy it. Back on our machine, we search for Ubuntu and run it as administrator. When we see the prompt, we paste the install command for Olama and hit enter. This may take a while. After Olama is installed, the prompt comes back and depending on the hardware, you may have NVIDIA GPU or CPU installation. On this machine, Olama detected the NVIDIA GPU. When we enter Olama serve, we see it is already listening on port 11434. We can run Olama with an LLM like Mistral. As it is the first time we run Olama with Mistral, it first downloads the LLM on our machine. This will take some time depending on the size of the LLM file. After the LLM is downloaded, we can send our prompt to our LLM. We can send, tell me a story. The speed of the inference is depending on the speed on your hardware. And after the process is done, you will get the answer. We can use slash question mark to get help and slash show to see some more information and slash show info to see some information about the LLM like the parameter size. And with slash buy you exit. You may want to install additional models locally. For example, for a better local function calling, we can download the LLM Open Hermes. We can type Olama run Open Hermes. And as it is the first time Olama uses Open Hermes, it first downloads the LLM to our machine. After the installation is finished, we can type tell me a joke to test the LLM and finally exit. To wrap it up, Olama is a very useful tool to work with multiple LLMs locally and switch between them quickly. You can download it on Mac and Linux 
But on Windows, for the time being, we need to first install VSL2 and then Olama. After Olama is installed, we can download multiple LLMs on our machine and start testing our multi-agent frameworks like Autogen or Taskweaver or Crew AI with open source, free, private, local LLMs and save tokens and money. Good luck running Olama on Windows.